today we discuss linear regression okay linear regression model is a very important algorithm in machine learning and what we do here you see it's a it's a numeric uh, model that means when we are dealing with numbers that means the outcome or the predicted value uh, is a number let's say we are trying to forecast stock prices based on certain uh, numeric parameters also we are trying to forecast uh, a house prices based on uh, you know the area of the house or the year built and this kind of thing or a combination of multiple numeric variables the outcome is a numeric variable continuous in itself then can we express the class that means the outcome or the predicted variable as a linear combination of the attributes you see the linear combination this term we have already used earlier and um, so now we are trying to find out can you create a linear combination of uh, you know um, uh, some independent variables uh, and then predict the value of a, de a continuous dependent variable okay so uh, so we have an example here you see uh, the area of the houses and the prices okay so for 2600 square feet the area is in square feet and the price is in dollars okay 55 uh, 550 thousand dollars something like that okay so there will be uh, one more uh, no, this is fine. And then maybe one more zero will be here. Okay. So you see this. Uh, so now we have uh, tried to plot this, and you can see uh, we can predict this as a uh, you know um, like uh, this is the equation: the price equal to m times area plus b. This is the equation of a straight line. Okay. Let's see this blue dotted line is the line which is um, kind of uh, going through the uh, the points you have plotted you see uh, for 2600 the price is this for uh, 3000 the price is this we plotted those uh, those uh, prices for the particular area and then we are trying to find a uh, line through it so that the idea is that based on if we have that the model uh, is the line so if we have that line predicted then we can find the house prices for any arbitrary price let's say for uh, 3500 square feet if we try to find out we will find out the price from this uh, corresponding uh, value okay so uh, finding that line uh, is uh, called linear regression modeling and we will see uh, that the you see the price is called the, the class or the final predicted variable or the dependent variable and it is dependent on the attribute like the area okay so here we have shown one uh, dependent uh, independent variable which is a, uh, also called attribute or feature there are different names okay so uh, so how we model that line the mod uh, we model that line as a uh, using an equation okay so this shows that the uh, linear regression are of two types okay one is simple linear regression where you have just one independent variable and one dependent variable okay so this is the one independent variable also called an attribute or feature and one dependent variable which is the price so the equation will be y equal to mx plus b we know this uh, equation already is a standard equation we know the vector form of writing that also the matrix form also and you see y is the uh, dependent variable and x is the independent variable m is the slope and b is the uh, intercept or also called bias okay so b is uh, so m is the slope which means that for every unit change in the value of x how the value of y changes and if x equal to zero then y's value is b that's the uh, b is the intercept so now let's say this uh, price is not just dependent only on the area but a few other factors like the uh, you know the um, the size uh, or the year built or uh, number of bedrooms and this kind of features which are also um, you know numeric so then this line will be a combination of those variables okay then we can represent this called a multiple linear regression and multiple li linear regression is that we have more than one independent variable okay more than one independent variable like the area the uh, year build the number of bedrooms and the one dependent variable that's still that y okay one independent variable so how we how we write that equation we write that equation this way so y equal to b0 plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus until b and x set so here b1 b2 are these are all slopes corresponding to the, you know the weights they are called 
and these are like this m in this first equation so b0 is called the intercept or sometimes also called the bias it's like oh, if all the dependent variable the independent variables are zero what will be the value of the dependent variable that's determined by that now y is again called the predicted value or the class or the dependent variable uh, whatever you say and uh, b0 is the interceptor bias b1 is the slope or the feature weight okay the slope or the feature weight x1 x2 until uh, xn these are there are like n number of features or attributes possible and uh, mm, uh, this uh, they are called the attributes or model parameters or the feature value okay like so when we ask that what if for a 3000 uh, you know 500 square feet uh, house what will be the price so this is something we are trying to predict on this is a particular value of a feature okay it's a feature value and the intercept for this blue line, you see where uh, if the feature um, or area have the value zero, still the price will be the intercept amount, which is the B or B zero here. So, uh, so linear uh, regression is a very important uh, problem uh, or a modeling technique for uh, numeric uh, attributes. And uh, we will study more about linear regression see we want to answer a particular question for the same problem we just discussed uh, we have the area and the price and we have drawn um, three different lines through the points uh, which is also called a scatter plot we, uh, we plotted on this two-dimensional plane and you see there are uh, this the blue line is a dotted line which is this one and then there's a green line and there's a black line now we are telling that the blue line is the best line and the other two lines are not the best line so based on what we determine this best line or not best line we will try to see because if you have multiple points in a uh, plotted in a plane you can draw many multiple lines uh, which are uh, you know kind of uh, tracking their trend it's not through them all cannot be through uh, all of them but it's like tracking their trends so uh, here we'll discuss based on what we'll decide the blue line is the line so basically what we do we try to find out the points you know the which are the uh, the red ones which are the predicted uh, uh, which are the actual values of the houses for this particular uh, you know areas and if if we follow that line if we predict the value yeah, we try to see that you know the, the differences between the predicted value and actual value and then uh, try to minimize the total sum of the squared distances and um, we also call it residual and that will be the best line to find we'll see more about it